This tutorial is going to cover the basics of using the PDSpec app for the iPhone, iPad, and Android phones and tablets. For this video, we'll be taking a look at the app on an iPhone. However, the app will look and function the same way on an iPad as well as an Android phone or tablet. Let's get started and go ahead and open up the PDSpec app. We're now looking at the opening screen. On this screen, we are able to open an existing inspection or start a new inspection. Let's go ahead and start a new inspection by tapping on New. When you start an inspection, you go through the Choose Template screen. Here, you can select a template from the local device or the cloud drive. We're going to tap on the basic residential inspection here from local to get started. The next screen that pops up is where we give the inspection file a name. Let's go ahead and call this 123 Test Street. After you enter in the file name, you can tap on Continue. We're now looking at the Choose Category screen. This screen is where we navigate from category to category. You can scroll up and down to see all the categories by simply swiping your finger up and down on the list. If you look at the gray toolbar going across the top of the screen, we have several options here as well. The buttons in this toolbar allow us to input our final comments or private notes. Save as is if you want to save the inspection under a different name. Review lets us review the ratings summary. Pictures lets us review all the pictures we put in. And then finally, Uploads lets us upload the inspection. Let's go ahead and tap on Lots and Grounds to get started. We're now looking at the Edit Category screen. This screen lists all the inspection items that need to be filled out for this section. You can actually mark the entire category not applicable if you don't need to fill anything out by simply tapping on that applicable here. Just like we could on a previous screen, you can scroll up and down to see all the items in the list by simply swiping. Let's go ahead and get started filling out information. There are two different ways to enter information on the line. You can fill out a line on this screen or you can enter the edit line screen and fill it out that way. We're going to take a look at both methods. Let's first fill out the driveway line. On the left of the line, we have the rating. You can select the rating by double tapping on it. When you double tap, it's going to put in the first rating. And as you continue to double tap, it'll actually cycle through each of the rating options that you have. The driveway is acceptable, so we just needed to double tap it once and are ready to move on. When the line is complete, the background for the line will be shaded a color based on the rating. As you can see, the driveway line is now shaded green, and this is just a visual cue letting you know that that line is finished. Now that the driveway line is filled out, let's go ahead and move on to the walks line. When we go to walks, we notice that they're not in great shape, and because of that, we want to mark them as marginal. So we're going to double tap. We're going to keep on double tapping to cycle through until we get to marginal. Now, since there is an issue here, we want to add a note in for the line as well. And we add a note in on the edit line screen. To enter the edit line screen, we can either tap on the word walks or we can tap on where it says note. Let's go ahead and tap on the word walks and enter the new screen. We're now looking at the edit line screen. This is also the second way you can fill out a line. Now, as you can see, our ratings are up top here, and marginal has already been marked. Now what we want to do is we want to enter a note. And there's two different ways to enter a note. The first one is we can pull up the drop-down list by tapping on this arrow, and we're going to get a list of all the items in our drop-down list. Let's go ahead and select that the concrete is pitted and chipped by tapping, double tapping on it. This note has now been entered. The second way to add a note in is to simply type it in using the keyboard on your device. 
Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to type in another note. Now that our note is typed in, right below it, you'll notice that we have two more buttons. This is for taking a picture. Let's actually pull up your camera. And the next one is for going to your camera roll. This is where you can add in a picture to this line that's already been taken on your device. To take a picture, we're going to take a look how that works. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the camera, which will pull up our camera. And we're going to take a quick picture of this piece of paper. We're going to tap on the camera button. Once the picture is taken, we can just hit use. And it pulls up the edit picture screen. On this screen, we're able to add in arrows, ellipses, or even write text on the picture to show what's going on. For more information on how that works, see the tutorial on making markups on pictures. But we're going to real quickly just draw a couple arrows using our finger. Once you've made all your markups, we can tap on close. And as you can see, the picture has now been added and is associated with the line. You can add in as many pictures as you want to each line. At this point, we're ready to move on to our next line item. There's a couple different ways to go to the next line. First, we can simply tap the next button in the top right corner. We can also go to the top left corner and hit back, which will take us back to the edit category screen and then select a new line. However, the simplest way is to simply swipe the finger from right to left across the screen, and this will take us to our next line. As you can see, we're now looking at the steps and stoops line. You can also swipe back to the previous line by using the same swiping motion in the opposite direction. For the steps and stoops, let's go ahead and say this is acceptable. So we're going to tap on acceptable and move on to our next line. Now we have porch. The porch line is in good shape, so we're going to tap that acceptable as well and move on again. Now we're looking at the patio line. Let's say the property you're inspecting doesn't have a patio, so we're simply going to mark this as not applicable. When an item is marked as not applicable, that just means that line is not going to show up on the final report. Let's go ahead and move on to the next line. Next, we have the deck line. Let's say there's an issue with the deck, so we're going to mark it as defective. Since there is an issue, again, we want to enter our note. So we're going to tap on our note dropdown, and we're going to say there's moisture damage. So we'll double tap on that. Our note's been entered, and we can move on. But let's say there's another note we want to type in. Just like we saw before, we can actually type it in or, on most of the devices these days, you can actually use voice recognition as well. If you look down here on the keyboard, there's a microphone to the left of the space bar. If you tap on it, it'll bring up the opportunity where you can talk, and it'll take what you say, and then convert that to text. So let's go ahead and do this and say this is a new note. This is a new note. As you can see, it takes what you write and then converts it to text, but if it doesn't capture it, you can always come in here and then modify it as needed. At this point, we're ready to move on to the next line. Let's say for the balcony, there's not a balcony. We can actually delete this line out by double tapping on delete line. Once you delete a line, it's simply going to take you to the next line. If you're on the edit line screen and you're on the last line in the category and you swipe to move to the next item, it's simply going to take you back to the edit category screen. Let's go ahead and go back to the edit category screen by tapping on back. At this point, you now know everything you need to be able to fill out a category. 
you're ready to move on to the next category, you can switch between categories the same way so you can switch between lines. You can swipe to the next category, or you can tap back to go to the Choose Category screen. If there's a, a specific category you want to jump to, you can also click on the drop-down arrow to the right of Lots and Grounds, and this is going to bring up a list of all your categories. And here, you can simply tap on the one you wanted to go to. Let's go ahead and tap back again to go back to the Choose Category screen. As you can see, the Lots and Grounds category now has a yellow section to it. This is a progress indicator that lets you know how much of the category has been filled out. Once the entire category is filled out, the entire line will be yellow, and there will also be a green check mark next to it. The last item we want to take a look at is how components work. To do this, we're going to scroll down to the bedroom category. And we're going to tap on it to enter. Filling out a component works the same way as what we just reviewed. The one difference is, is at the top of each component, you'll see a location line. This just lets you know where this one is located. You can fill this out the same way as everything else by simply double tapping on it. And this will let you cycle through your options. If we want to add in a second bedroom, we scroll down to the bottom, and we have the option for add another bedroom. All we have to do is simply tap on this, and it adds in a second bedroom. Using this method, you can add in as many bedrooms as you need. Having components work like this makes it very easy to add in the right number of areas, like bedrooms, bathrooms, and living spaces. This lets you have as many as you need, but not have any extra. Once an inspection is complete, you're going to want to upload it to your cloud drive so that you can access it on your main computer. To do this, we need to go back to the Choose Category screen. So we're going to tap on Back, and it takes us there. To upload the inspection to your cloud drive, all we have to do is tap this Upload button in the top right corner. After you tap it, you'll see a progress indicator on the screen letting you know the progress of the upload. Once it's complete, we'll then be able to switch over to our main computer to download the inspection file that's going to contain all the information and all the pictures that we added. This concludes the basics of entering information on the PDSpec app.